Hello there, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Playing another Map Barino 2018 submission. This is Hammer of Dawn, submitted by Edriano. Hammer of Dawn is a campaign Edriano has created, so I suspect that special file Map Barino will fit into that somehow. Please give credits on your maps. Thank you. Indeed. All right, well, let's get started. Uh, I will play on normal. I can't believe this is our last submission. We had more submissions than we did last year for Mapcraft, so we'll see uh, when we decide to put on our next contest if we can attract even more folks. For those who have beaten the game on casual and back for more, well, we haven't beaten it on casual, but I feel like we'll probably be okay on normal, if not hard. Let's uh, let's just go on normal here. Adriano's bosses do tend to be pretty tricky, assuming there is a boss fight, but most of, most of Adriano's maps do have a boss. Welcome, Captain Han. Very glad you could join us today. Not a problem. Want to tell us what this is all about? Oh, okay. Straight to it. We got some smooth jams. All right, so these are describing the, the characters. Um, I do like that this is included here, again, because this is meant to be a standalone submission map, even though it's technically part of a campaign, I think. Uh, so you can go ahead and, and read these if you would like, but it's just describing who these folks are. Oh, first appears in Noir Automata. I didn't realize Marie didn't show up until uh, Noir Automata. Okay. So let's hotkey some some folks here. Ever heard of Map Arena? I heard that. Who? Heading out. Oh, I know, I know. Mapcraft, right? Sort of, yeah, basically. You're right. They're having Mapcraft again, but renamed it to Map Arena. But there's an exclamation point. I finished mapping my entry, and I hope you three could help me test it. <laughs> so some serious fourth wall breaking here. Marie's a little bit faster than everyone else. She's been working out. Not a problem. If it weren't for you, no one would know about us. Loud and clear. Status report. Ready for pickup? Yeah, it's the least we could do. All right, let's see what you got. Where does it hurt? Medic kit. Oh, before I forget, if you experience lag or FPS drops, consider lowering your graphics settings. Well, we'll see. Is it critical? Say again. So these are the same abilities for Marie, at least as they were in Noir Automata. Anytime you're ready, just press the start button on the terminal there. Is that this? Okay. So real quick, I guess before we start, let's look at the, the upgrades we have here. So Mira is our healer. She gets some extra armor. She can only heal herself spending resources. So you can recover 100, so you basically want to make sure you, that you're maximizing the potential here by only healing her if she drops below uh, 60 HP. Uh, and then Marie has faster energy regenerate. She can give herself a shield, which is real useful, and then energy blast, which is just a single target nuke. I heard that. So both, actually, Marie and, and Kyra have single target nukes here. And then stim pack is certainly nice, but it costs HP, armor piercing, and then a grenade, but we only have three of them. Okay, let's get started. We'll make sure we quick save a lot. I have no idea what this is going to be, if this is going to be one big encounter, or it's going to be just a boss battle, or what. But the map looked reasonably sized. Good morning, Commander. colony you're seeing on your screen is Avalon. It was built during the War of the Purifiers to house workers of a nearby weapons factory.
What unit is that? After the war ended, the people left the place and it's been long abandoned. Or so we thought. Nine hours ago, we received a mayday from the colony. From what they told us, there are at least a hundred men, women, and children there. Really? Because it doesn't seem like it. I do like these smooth jams, though. And that they're in dire need of immediate evacuation. The sensors detected a large group of feral zerg heading their way. They'd evacuate on their own, but as you can see, they no longer have that option. I feel like this music is something you'd hear in an overworld for a Metroid Prime title. Like a casual section of a Metroid Prime game. This is the August Grad. We modified it to be able to transport that many people. But unfortunately, we do so by dismantling its weapons systems. To help your mission, we installed a side disruptor. It's a Gorgon! A Gorgon battle cruiser! The disruptor will help keep the Zerg at bay. Should it get destroyed, the Zerg will swarm you without mercy. Protect the side disruptor. Your mission commander, should you choose to accept it. It's to protect August, August Grad and bring her to safety to the colony. So far in the future, they can't afford a better monitor. Look at this. Good luck, Commander. Don't worry, Avalon, we're coming. Oh, hey. We're on top of the, the Gorgon Battlecruiser, the August Grad. Wow, a mission on top of a moving battlecruiser? Hey, Kira, look. Look. What is it, Mira? Look! Glass floor! Wow, feels like floating. Huh, neat. That sounds like something I'd say. Huh, neat. <laughs> so it looks like he took the, the platform and smashed it on top of the Gorgon Battlecruiser. That's... that... That's neat. That's exactly Ready what I'd say. Up. Good evening, passengers. This is your captain speaking. Thank you for flying and choosing the August Grad. Confirmed. This is not the time. Understood. Today's forecast is heavy wind with a big chance of mutalisks. Oh, we got some Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Kong yeah. Quest remixed music. Enjoy that. your flight. Confirmed. All right, ten way. minutes until we reach des the destination, starting now. We'll just make sure we quick save, especially based on how much damage the side disruptor takes. Now it'll support us by slowing down Zerg, at least. Ready for pickup? Uh, just, you know, blast him where applicable. And then Mira, you can pick these up. Okay, it's not a one-time thing. It regenerates, so we would just avoid her using damage or uh, using minerals, I guess, when, when possible. I think this is the music from Lockjaw's Locker, if I'm not mistaken. Good old Diddy Kong's Quest. Diddy, it's, it's Diddy's Kong Quest. It's very strange. Not Diddy Diddy Kong's Quest. 
Uh, okay, so how how often are our enemies gonna come again? We got we've already gone through one full minute with only one enemy attack. We are on normal. Okay, here we go again. I guess uh, yeah, we just use our nukes every so often. We should be using uh, Mira instead. Marie rather. I gotta remember like the names. Mira, Marie, and Kyra. We should be using Marie because she has faster energy regen, but we also get free energy. So I think the rate at which this comes, this recharges compared to how fast the enemies attack, even on normal difficulty, is pretty forgiving. Especially if they're only, like, the Mutalisks are only coming once every, uh, once every minute or so. But we'll see. I'm assuming it'll ramp up, and again, there may very well be something at the end of this, and it's not just going to be the Battlecruiser speeding along, but this is neat. Uh, it's funny how I even said. That sounds like something I'd say. Huh, neat. Okay, this poor, uh, missile turret doing its best, right? We should also be stim packing. All right, so it looks like we got some, like, special mutalisks coming in. I wonder what we could do is split up here and try to keep this thing alive. Actually, you know what? Yeah, no, no. You stay here. No, let's split these up. Because the, the missile turret's going to be the thing that's getting attacked. I don't mind if the missile turret goes down. Our heroes are good enough, I think. So what we would do over here is just stim. Blast this with your single target nuke. Apparently, you don't want to get in there. There we go. Brace yourself. We're making a turn. A turn? I heard that. On my way. Ready for pickup? Understood. <laughs> okay. This camera angle changes. This is actually nice. It gives us a better view of the entire ship. I feel like I probably should have played on hard, but it was just like based on Adriano's past campaigns, which I really shouldn't have been taking into consideration considering this is a contest where people have, you know, uh, it's supposed to be standalone, so I shouldn't be like thinking about the other campaigns. But regardless, uh, I was thinking about the other campaigns. Okay, blast this. She can take care of that. She's got a nice, uh... I almost want this turret to go down so that Kyra can actually get back here and help. It's going to burn down here in a hot second. Oh, never mind. It won't burn. All right, good. Uh, I'm just going to leave these spread out. But yeah, I, again, Adriano's campaigns, even on normal, have given me trouble in the past. There's a lot of uh, saving and reloading, and that's kind of the point of them, I think, is sort of taking each uh, engagement as it comes. But uh, this, is, this is a big step down from that. I could have probably played this on hard. Though I don't know, maybe the difficulty spike is much larger. So just Ready stay here on hold up. position, please. Uh, go ahead and hit him with a grenade. It doesn't attack air, so that's a worthless ability, unfortunately. Okay, so we're gonna pick this up. We're gonna head over here and heal our other buddy. It's a late, little late to the stim party there, but that's okay. We could just run our medic back and forth. So basically just have to swap the energy shield on and off, no problem. What's the range on the plasma launcher? Pretty short. What's the range on energy blast is way higher. And her yeah, her range is let's let's flip these two ladies and just give Let's just give her Mira instead. So blast this one, you'll be fine. Stim pack here. And we're just gonna sort of run backwards and then we can blast it. No we can't. Just missed the cooldown. And then blast this one. Confirmed. And then Mira, come on over here and heal. Say again. It's all good. We're making another turn. No, we're going to go back to the way we were. It's going to be a totally different thing. Okay, cool. So it's a, it's a, a further changed turn. Now the issue, oh, I was going to say for a second I thought my camera was locked and I wouldn't be able to target anything that came from the back side here, but no problem. Blast this, please. Blast this. Use your, uh... We gotta back up here. Okay, there are two Broodlords, so let's just auto-attack these. No problem. You're in the way, Mira. Please? Please? There we go. Tight corners here. Only two and a half minutes left. I like the, I, I mean, I, I there have been a, a few campaigns with missions that, that play on top of these moving vehicles, and I like them every time. They're neat. Huh, neat. Uh, there's a lot you can do with them. Uh, I feel like you the there could be like a more, a larger variety around the 
the enemies here. Where I think that uh, there could certainly be uh, like drop pods coming in could be interesting as well. There we go. All right, she's safe as well. Pick this up. Probably one more group of attacks because again, it's been like mutalisks, then mutalisk guardians, then mutalisk broodlords. Uh, I think we could see something where it's more. Um... Oh, they can attack the recovery terminal. How did that happen? Is it attackable? Interesting. I think it's because her attacks do some AoE, because it's like the explosive damage, but I'm not 100% sure there. But in any case, um, like having some drop pods with extra units coming in could make this certainly more challenging. Like a flood of Zerglings would be tricky, as you can imagine, just because... Uh, would be really tricky just because there's... Uh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. No, pick this up. No, Mira, pick up the flippin' recovery charge. Oh my goodness. There, okay. We're good. Can we back up, please? That was about to be a loss. One more turn and we should be in the clear. Just just kill this thing, please. There we go. 10 seconds. Recovery terminal, we're good. I think the recovery terminal is a little too lax. Maybe shorten, or rather lengthen the timer. That makes it, uh, and then just maybe have some drop pods because the, uh, not huge swaths of Zerglings though. We really don't have much AOE. Oh, hey, we got extra minerals. Uh, there must be something after this, right? Well done, as expected, from the famous Dawn Mercenaries. Say again. Really, this very much felt like a, an Adriano map, where it's just a series of encounters, really just one long encounter, where it's, it's you could, your heroes can die very quick. Is that it? Oh, come on now. There's no way you're going to win map craft with just that. Yeah, what about the colonists? You can continue to to the colony on the next map. But since one person can only submit one map, so yeah. Oh, come on. It's going to be on this map. It's got to be. That's fine, but what about tradition? Tradition, which is Oh, it's boss time, baby. Where's the boss fight? Yeah, everyone knows Edriano's map's not complete without a boss fight. Hey, there have been a couple that haven't had boss fights. The kind of boss fight that makes the player scream, Fuck! Cuh? Fuck? <laughs> hmm. Well, I do have that one that I was planning to use for the next map. Edriano, are you working on more Hammer of Dawn maps? Or is uh, just the next Noir campaign? But you don't want that. It's a very difficult boss fight. Just bring it already. Come on. Let's see what you got. All right, then. Initiating Shin Dragon's battle sequence. Hiya! Huge fourth wall breaking here. Huge, uh meta-analysis of the author inserting themselves into the map. Extra resources. Health pickup. Come now, one Nidus dragon? Didn't you say difficult boss fight? It's gonna, like, mutate or something. Captain, look! Now there are two of them. This is getting out of hand. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Bring it. Nara and Kinari, the world destroyer. I was just messaged in the background. That's what that sound was. I thought I'd turn that off. Quick save. Ready Pick this go. up. Heading out. I heard from that last. Loud and okay. Confirm. Don't stand in the lava. Don't continue to not stand. Oh, okay. Well. That's embarrassing. So here's the thing. I thought I wasn't in the lava, but I was in the lava. 
I think I quick saved like right before this. So let's uh well let's I, I think I no no I quick saved right at the beginning. That's good. So again, we won't stand in the in the lava. Right, and then we use these abilities to blast things, and then we move out of the lava again. A little help here? No, you'll be fine. Water rise. During the mission, the water will sometimes rise above normal. When that happens, the water will significantly reduce the fire damage your heroes will take. Use this to your advantage. Well, that's nice. Something to our advantage. I don't believe it. Oh, okay. Well, this is great. Because this attack is always challenging to avoid. Just use the grenades that you've got. Just use them all. Just use them all. I can't for some reason. All right, now don't stand in the fire. Let's pick this up. Obviously, we just want to focus on one at a time. Blast him. Go ahead and heal yourself, Mira. Grenade. All right. This is always challenging to avoid. You have to run kind of in a counterclockwise motion, and I don't really know of a better way to do it here. Come and pick this up. Please pick this up. She has an issue picking things up, I've noticed. It happened on the ship also. All right, obviously, don't stand in that. Stim. She's still in it. What is happening? All right, heal yourself. Kyra can't quite hit it. There we go. Don't stand in that medic. There we go. One dead. No problem. We'll quick save. One down, one to go. Blast him. So unless we see it casting something else, there's really not much to do here, I don't think. We still have enough at we still have enough minerals to Yeah, this again, there's I don't think there's really a good way to avoid this. I'd hope that the water would rise again, but because that gives us a huge opening. All right, blast him here. There we go. Just the graphic of the fire is like a little tricky to realize what's getting hit and what's not. All right, there's the water, so I think now we just sit. Feels like maybe Adriano added the water because he thought this might be a little too challenging. I'm not sure. Oh, just heal yourself. Just heal yourself. Okay. We have plenty of resources still. Ah, this attack right here. Again, it's challenging to decide where to move, because typically you want to circle, but you can't circle in this situation. Stim. They're armored, right? Armored biological mass of heroic. We've almost got him, unless we make a silly mistake. Which, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Super Stim Addict right here. Alright, it's just sitting and letting us kill it. I appreciate this. At the end. Yeah, we won. Great fight, team. What do you think? Do you have like a forum or a Discord channel to leave my feedback? Oh yeah, sure. Just go to StarCraft 2 forums at sc2mapster.com. For Discord, just search Jabarino. Do we have a deadline to leave feedback? I think it's October 5th. And that boss fight gave me goosebumps. Ah! Skeletons! I know, right? Well, see you when I see you then. See you when I see you. Thank you for playing. Well, that was interesting. The the double Nidus dragons was a nice touch, considering I I think I made the comment in the past that there's been I think I think the Nidus dragons have been repeated at least once. So to have two of them was interesting, and obviously their main attack, which is the fire breath, not not the where they leave it on the ground. Like that again, the graphic was kind of
kind of tricky because I thought I wasn't standing in it, but I was standing in it. Um, but where they breathe in a straight line and it tracks you, typically, again, you circle, but you can't really do that on that type of terrain. So I think that they were both, like, their attack patterns were slightly nerfed so that you could react to both in some fashion, which I appreciate, because obviously if they were just the same Nidus Dragons, but two of them with a small arena like that, we would have gotten roasted. The water mechanic was interesting, but I think I only saw it happen once or twice. Um, but that's nice, because it just gives you an opportunity to just stand in the enemy attacks and, <laughs> and deal a bunch of of damage. So yeah, nice little uh, battle cruiser ride in. Uh, again, I think overall just a little more variability could be nice. Uh, and not necessarily saying it should be harder, because again, I played on normal. I don't know what the hard difficulty would be like, but just, you know, more uh, different types of attack waves on the um, the battle cruiser ride in. And then uh, the boss fight, I, I don't really have much to add. I thought it was fine. The um, I did notice, though, Mira, when, when right-clicking on one of the pickups that I wanted her to pick up, rather than going and picking it up, you'll notice it happened when we were on the battle cruiser and in the boss fight, she just stands there and heals. And I don't know why. Something with the movement command and right-clicking those pickups, um, she just she says, I'm going to heal instead, and refuses to move. So you have to, like, click past, like, on the ground for her to move, as opposed to on the actual pickup. I don't really know what uh, leads to that happening, but just wanted to point it out, because it's something I noticed. But otherwise, thanks for submitting, Adriana. Appreciate it. Had fun. And uh, that's it for, for our Map Arena submissions. This is the last one. So I've got a playlist. You can check them all out. Deltron and I will put out a ranked choice poll where you can choose your top three favorite Map Arena submissions this year. Uh, not to say that that's going to necessarily reflect on who we choose to be the winners. Uh, I think right now we're leaning towards a, a top three, just like a gold, silver, bronze, uh, but agnostic of game because we did not get enough submissions for Warcraft 3, and without enough submissions for all three games, uh, we, we don't feel comfortable giving a runner-up just for each game uh, because there, it was heavily weighted towards StarCraft 2 submissions. We don't want to gate anyone out of uh, a prize uh, just because they submitted for a game that had the majority of the submissions, I suppose. Uh, again, just because it, it wasn't really uh, spread out very well. But we haven't 100% decided. You can join the Discord or check out the Maparino chat on the Discord as we uh, nail that down. But you'll see a video with uh, winners soon. I'm going to put out a video just reminding viewers that they can also vote in a poll when we post it. Uh, and I'll put that in the Discord as well. But again, thanks everyone who has been interested in Maparino and uh, left feedback for creators and for me. And... Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll do this again next year. Not sure yet. It's always tricky to find time where we can add extra, you know, 20 extra videos to four to five weeks of of typical video scheduling. Anyway, we could talk about this in a Maparino round of video, I suppose. But otherwise, Adriano, again, great job. And I'll see everyone next time. Bye now.